Hello guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod spotlight video. In this one we're gonna be covering Immersive HUD, also known as iHUD, made by Gopher. And Gopher is a YouTuber, at least is how I know him, he can also be called a modder at this point I suppose, um, who makes YouTube videos about Fallout and stuff. I, get, I, I, just, I just watch him myself so, so I know a little bit about him. Uh, anyway, the actual mod itself is super useful, so what this mod does is fairly simple. You can make the, the you can set conditions for the HUD being visible. Um, it's gonna make more sense. I don't actually show the settings, uh, but essentially you know have you know how you have the HP here. You have the um, the AP bar on the right side of the screen. I don't have it right now, uh, but when you start actually running and and using stuff, it's constantly on the screen and it always gets in the way. And um, sometimes you just wish you could turn it off under certain conditions. Same thing with a lot of the other HUDs. Sometimes it's just nice to be able to turn it off. And that's kind of what this one does. It's just, you can hide the HUD whenever you don't need it, uh, and then make it appear under certain conditions. So uh, let me actually show you what I mean. So at the bottom here in my miscellaneous section in my inventory, I have immersive HUD settings. Now, if you have the MCM installed, or you have the or your script extender installed, which is kind of a requirement for MCM anyway, the mod configuration menu, I've covered that before on my channel. Uh, then the settings for immersive HUD is in there instead. Um, but but because the MCM menu is not in my game right now, it appears in miscellaneous in my inventory. Should sure for you too if you do not have the mod configuration menu installed. Anyway, just kind of click on it, and then the settings should appear for the mod. And you can go ahead and activate it. And now you have different settings here that kind of determines when your HUD appears. So if I go out of this immediately, you can see right now, my compass is gone. It, it doesn't show up anymore. I, if I want to see my compass again, I just go into my settings here and I go into compass activation settings. And in here, I go ahead and say that whenever I aim my weapon, it is on. Actually, no, no, now it's off. Now it's on. So now whenever I aim my weapon, it shows up. Now whenever I don't aim my weapon, it should go away. After, according to what I, the setting is in here, it should be two seconds. Now you can do that for all the HUD thingies that are constantly on your screen. And you can see all the different conditions here. Aiming, weapon drawn, sneaking, sprinting. Of course there are other conditions in the game, but these are the main ones where you can see kind of when you will see it. Let's go back again to check out health by activation. So here you can set when health is below 90 as an example. Uh, you can change this to be 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, to 40, even 30. And the health bar is gone until you actually need to see that your health is low. So it doesn't take up space on your screen. Now let's say I want to put it to 70. That's kind of where I like to have it. And I don't see my health bar in combat at all. Because I, I have no reason to. Because my health is low, then I'll see it anyway. Um, now my health bar should, in theory, disappear. There we go. And now it should only show up when I get damaged in combat. No matter if I'm in combat or not, I should not be able to see the health bar. And all of a sudden, you see that my screen is completely clean now. There's no heart in the way. There's nothing that uh, intrudes on my immersion. And I will see everything depending on the situation. Now, this mod does not touch things like this, as an example, where you go near dog meat and you can command and stuff. Because those, those are kind of essential mechanics. If you don't have that, you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> so it's kind of important to have those going. Now again, let's go in again just to show you guys some more here. Crosshair activation is technically something you can um, you can activate in the game itself. You can actually turn it off. I have done that. That's why I don't have a crosshair. But here you can toggle it. Uh, now toggle is an option uh, you can use uh, as a key as an example. You can toggle the, the actual crosshair by using a key on the keyboard as well. As you guys are aware, let's say you want the I key to be hard for some reason. And you use the I key... Whenever you want to see your HUD, let's say you just want to check to see if your health is 80 or if it's 90. And you don't know because the condition hasn't been set. You can assign a HUD, or not a HUD, you can assign a key on your keyboard, or even a controller I'm pretty sure, to check to see if your HUD is fine. Or to see if your health is fine or what it actually is. It kind of bypasses this mod so you can see it at all times and you can just click the button again to have the same settings as before. Uh, fairly simple. I don't think I need to explain that too much. And here you can set the fade time. Let's say your health appears and it goes away again. How long until it goes away again? 
uh, here you can set the amount of seconds. Uh, now, the basic two seconds makes complete sense. There's nothing wrong with it, so makes completely sense. And here you can kind of deactivate iHeart for power armor specifically if you want to have the power armor set stuff in your face all the time. Uh, same thing with action points. Whenever your action point reaches a certain threshold or if you're running or something, you can see your action points. Other settings. Here we can see flashlight, stealth, enemy health as well. You, uh, like again, you can change this from on toggle to something else as well. In case you want that. Now, this is a bit complicated because it's not in the MCM menu. Uh, I would highly recommend getting that one if script extender is available to you and it has been updated. It's just a bit easier to, to, to manage and stuff. But anyway, here we can see ammo count, all that kind of stuff. You can change it so it doesn't intrude as much on your immersion as well. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool and interesting to kind of go ahead and, you know, activate all of these things and, and manage what you want to see and what you don't want to see in your menu. So, for me, this is an essential mod I always play with all the time. Uh, it has never really bugged out for me and it always works. It, it shows 44 bucks on the actual mod page, but I, I don't know why they're there because I've never had an issue with it. So, that there's that. Um, but in any case, um, hopefully you guys found this useful. I would highly recommend this for anyone playing, uh, I guess, the game. Um, set the customized settings you want for your game. And uh, you're going to have a clean screen with HUD whenever you need it. And it's gone whenever you don't need it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing. Uh, again, uh, if you... Not again, but if you guys want the mod, I will leave a link to it in the description below. So you can check it out if you want. Uh, it is also available for Xbox One. I don't know if it's available for PlayStation as well. But I know it's available for Xbox One if you want to use it on Xbox. And uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see another one of my Let's Plays slash another one of my uh, Mod Spotlights. And as always, stay awesome.